I don't even know how to explain it. There's this feeling as an international student or generally just as a student in a different country. Like, I feel like there's more security for students studying outside. Like, in, like, I'm going to use USA as my point, like, as the country that I'm going to be talking about. And this is my experience. My experience. I feel like they. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your first time here. My name is Ayoba Mbakare. Yes, my name is Ayoba Mbakare. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do hope that this video is going to be so interesting because it is a very interesting topic that I'll talk about today. I'm talking about a study abroad overrated, seven reasons why you should still consider studying abroad. Mm. Guys, my first thing is nothing will ever be overrated for you if it is what you genuinely want that's my own it's like have you ever you know when some parents no i don't have children so i'm just going to say this from what i think happens you know when parents are like oh this child is troublesome ah trust me you don't want to have four kids trust me you don't want to have three kids and they are telling that to someone that is looking for the fruit of the womb how do you, do you think that is overrated for her? At her at that point, she just wants to have kids, and it's for is I feel like it's the same for people that have been on this journey of studying abroad, and then you keep telling them you don't want to study abroad, and this is overrated. It might seem overrated to people that feel, that are not grateful enough for the opportunity that they have. I feel like when things begin to become overrated for you, um, that people are praying for. <laughs> you need to recheck your gratitude level, your gratitude challenge. Go and redo it, okay? So, I'm going to talk about seven reasons why you should still consider studying abroad. The first reason, the first and foremost, is peace of mind. It's peace of mind, you guys. Because, hmm, I don't even know how to explain it. There's this feeling as an international student or generally just as a student in a different country like I feel like there's more security for students studying outside like in like I'm going to use USA as my point like as the country that I'm going to be talking about and this is my experience my experience I feel like there's so much security in this school that I am in that because actually when we were talking in one of my classes we actually found out that us spends a lot of money on security for college students and it is mind-blowing the country that i'm coming from you are fending for yourself is you and your god and yourself okay and it has just been so mind um peaceful like there's this peace of mind you have that you know that if you call the police or if you call any department based on your security they are going to come it's like even the different trainings that we've done and all that i just think oh they just want us to call they will come like i've seen it they will come literally and the only part of it is now when you mistakenly call them and then they still come they just want to make sure you were not under duress guys there's peace of mind in studying outside of your country there's peace of mind you know, remove the anxiety of how am I going to fit in or blah, blah 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 but if studying abroad has been something you want to do there's this peace of mind that you just have especially if it's now the will of God for your life like you would feel so peaceful that things that come hard to others studying in that school or in that country will be so easy to you and I'm experiencing that I'm enjoying it and I cannot tell you enough you need to seek God first to know the country to go to so that you don't end up being part of people that say it's overrated right? then the second reason why i think you should still consider studying abroad is the different opportunities that you have obviously everybody is still talking about like there's opportunities there's opportunities but then there's opportunities and then there's opportunities i know that as a student in nigeria i'm talking as a nigerian now not every university allows you to do internships not every university allows you to work in nigeria like work for them not every university has that and coming to the usa now 
knowing that I'm able to work, not even for the money aspect. Now, even though that's a very important case that we need to address. But just gaining experience and learning from new people, learning so many things that are different from what you thought the workspace was, is very, very um, eye-opening. Knowing that this is how work, this is how some people spend their work hours, like eight to five, this is what certain people are doing. And then it helps you know, okay, do I really want to do this thing? Do I really want to do go in this path do i really want to go in this line like there are some things that there are some experiences you have that is not explainable you just have to experience it also it's like speechless and the funny part of it is i haven't even worked long enough to have so many experiences this is just few it's not, is it a few months it's not even up to a few months and i'm already feeling so enriched and so knowledgeable in certain things that I didn't even know that I did not know how to do or that were required in certain workspaces and you definitely want to experience that whilst also studying in school those experiences that you can gain when you're free when there's no like they will say when there's no responsibility on you then being able to do internships is something that I've always looked forward to I'm more or less hands-on I want to see how it will look like if I'm studying accounts and I want to see how it will look like once I once I graduate and actually start doing accounts and start working as an accountant, how does it feel like eight to five or eight to four or nine to five? How would that feel like for me? Do I really want to do this? Do you understand? Internships also give you ways to network with people, especially if you're looking into starting your business. Internships are it for you. And then you are able to do study abroad, you are able to do exchange students. Like, I feel like the seven reasons should be the pathways I was talking about. Like, there's different ways for you to school in different countries and different advantages. Then another thing I know is that once you graduate, you are able to do your OPT or your CPT, which gives you... I know most people think, well, I want to come to the US and then in the end, they don't end up going. For me, it's like... I know that I'm able to get an OPT for a year, which I'm, I'm not sure the full meaning of the OPT or the CPT, but I just know that they say OPT and I've read upon it. OPT for a year allows you to create your own business, but it also allows you to work for other people. Like, please, if I can start my business from here in the US, we are doing it. We are doing it. And then you're able to get investors. Even here in my school, there's a whole department that takes care of that for student entrepreneurs. You are able to um, get investors and actually get the business running. <laughs> you don't want that. Hmm? Like you don't. Awesome. You don't. Then the other reason that I think while I'm studying, why you should still consider studying abroad is there's just this leverage you have when you go back to your home country. They are like you studied abroad you try like all the stress it's not stressful for me but the way people would say it, all the stress you're able to still come out with a first class abroad like they are putting you on some high pedestal which i believe some people want to be on which i want to be on a high pedestal but i want to earn those things and i feel like studying abroad is one way it's just one way out of it all and you being sick. the reason why I think people say studying abroad is overrated is because they don't know or they've forgotten why they wanted to come and study abroad. And then the only other thing that I think might make people say that studying abroad is overrated is the food. Maybe you are you are that person that you're always eating at home in your home country, and then you come to a country where everything is basically fast food, or you can't even get your country's food i was talking to my dad about it i was like there's no this there's no this, there's no this. i just found out that there is there is there is is what you search for that we, you will find and that's why i think studying here in the us um or in other countries is not overrated if you have a goal and you know that this is what i want to do like there's nobody that can explain to you that it's overrated. Nobody. It's like you want to become a footballer and they're telling you like playing football is overrated. Who can tell you that? 
like it's, it's it's levels like everybody has different meanings of a of something being overrated for me i feel like food or outfits or clothing could be overrated but experiences can never be overrated like never because we all experience things in different ways so you, i can't generalize and say that studying abroad is overrated it is not overrated it is not overrated it is where you go to what you search for and why you are there that is going to determine if it's going to be overrated for you or not so these are my few reasons with these few reasons of mine i hope i've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that studying abroad is not overrated see you guys in my next video um if you have any other things that people think are overrated let me know in the comment section below i think certain foods from certain countries are overrated period end of story and some movies some movies whoever let me end the video here see you bye bye